And now, your first alert weather. A big weather picture is pretty much stuck in limbo, which means we've enjoyed the beautiful sunshine out every single day for the past couple of days. Temperatures haven't really changed too much. The only problem that with that staying in place is that we've continued to have these foggy mornings rolling into our weekend as well. We've had freezing fog advisors for the past four mornings. Good news is that is not in effect for tomorrow morning. That does not mean we don't, won't have fog tomorrow, but it means the fog is expected to be less prevalent. Uh, uh, yes, I said that correctly. Rest, less relevant across the region, and overall, it's not going to be found as much as what we've seen in the past couple of days. So, out for tonight, we're rolling out with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies out. Idaho Falls clear. It's 26 degrees. Winds nice and calm at zero miles an hour for the moment. Here's a big picture of things in the vibrator. High pressure is off to our south. That's what's been protecting us, giving us a nice inversion of that foggy weather for the past couple of mornings and giving us plenty of chances for sunshine into every single afternoon. The thing to look forward to moving into the future is that low that's just creeping along Long in the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of California. That's the next eye in system that could give us some chances at wet weather heading into the work week. Not for at least the next few days though as that high pressure under us is going to still continue to give us some nice sunshine at least for us heading into the day tomorrow Sunday. It's copy and paste sunshine throughout the entirety of the day once we get past especially the foggy morning Monday a little bit of change coming a little bit of some cloud cover coming back into the forecast here as we have an approaching low pressure system giving us just a little more moisture into the region here heading into the work week. Here is how that looks here for tonight. Again, that lows just off to the coast of California. You see us way up into the Pacific Northwest. This is going to start finally moving heading into Sunday and Monday. By Monday, it's on our doorstep right off the Pacific West Coast and eventually pushing into Tuesday. That's when we're going to start to see some chances at some stray to isolated showers moving back into the region, both rain and snow. If you notice, look at the wind direction too. Winds coming out of the south, not just for Sunday, Monday, but continuing into Tuesday and Wednesday. That gets those highs rocking back up in the 40s. If you notice, that system quickly clears out as well. So I'm only expecting stray to isolated chances at rain or snow, not a full good push of scattered snow across the entire region. So overall, High pressure is going to win out even with that system coming in for the first half of the work week. Temperatures remaining in the 30s here for tomorrow before taking a good increase, especially into the work week into those lower 40s. 34 for Montpelier tomorrow, 36 for Soda Springs, 38 in Preston. It'll be 37 for Jackson tomorrow, 36 for Dubois and St. Anthony. Two uh, 32 in Salmon, 34 for Arco. Lastly, Snake for Plain Highs in the mid-30s there. Eight-day forecast in Blackfoot, 34 degrees. There you see the temperature jump up into the work week. Highs in the upper 30s and lower 40s throughout the entirety of this coming week. Rexburg, 36 degrees. Highs in the lower 40s here for your work week. Again, just that slim chance of a rain shower, snow shower is just present in the middle of the work, that work week. Same case for Jackson. 20 to 30% chance of showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but I'm not expecting one big push of a system rolling on through. Overall, uh, that system is only going to give us just some light winds, some light snow, and Tuesday, Wednesday. That's not going to be even found in salmon tomorrow, uh, or salmon on Tuesday and Wednesday, excuse me. Pocatello, 37 degrees, highs in the lower 40s throughout most of your work week. 34 tomorrow night, Idaho Falls. Again, that, those foggy mornings continue to roll in for the next couple of mornings, but at least we keep the sunshine out and just only keep those slim chances of snow present heading into the middle of this work week. Now, let's toss it over to Sam.